Hi everybody, welcome back to Cluster Fox Bended Minds channel where I talk about dreams and their interpretation which I search um, not my own um, interpretation I have my own interpretation which I don't usually you know, tell people sometimes sometimes I do tell because they're based on my interpretation <coughs> but Today I'll be talking about updating you guys why I haven't been, you know, uploading videos. I've been um, busy with life. I've been having an existential crisis <laughs> mode, and also my dreams are very something that can't be explained. But I can. I, I will explain it anyways because. It's all hell, hell that I've been, I've been dreaming about, <coughs> see, I've been, first I've been dreaming about for the couple of weeks were demons and I was scared of them. I mean, I'm usually not scared of anything in my dreams, but this one was very surreal which it happened in my work um, I was with random people which I did not know who they were and what they were um, their, their actions what their plans were and who they were to me they were random strangers and then we I was at the office in my office and I was trying to get in but I fear something was in that office that I was scared of and I would not go in because because the hallway was flickering dark and it was dark outside too which is, was weird and when when I tried to approach the door of my office and all of a sudden I feared I feel this such fear that I that it made my hair go up I'm just fearful fearful of what's happening and all of a sudden the hallway of my in my of my office started to turn dark like one by one all the light bulbs turn off and I can feel something was staring at me within the darkness and I switch <coughs> my dream switch because I, I ran as fast as, as fast as I can to get out of the office but then when I got out from the office the front the in front of my the building was totally different um i was in a fancy looking facility which i've never been before and there were people roaming around and there, this was not ordinary people these people were killers murderers but more like monsters and they were hunting people down and i was like what the heck is going on and and after that it was the only thing that I can remember because it was so scary <coughs> and the next the week after that which the only thing I remember is people having chaos all over a sudden and it was a hell and then yeah just random people I talk to in my dreams and you know following chaos I, I, I don't understand what's happening in my dreams like I was wondering like is this a future of what's upcoming in this era that madness will come and something that can't be changed unless someone stepped in and 
which I wouldn't step in, you know, I don't have the power, the money, or resources to do so unless I have those availability, then I will do so. But I don't have any of those. So I'm just, all I can say is just talk and it's just it's just madness in my dream and then this the, the week I mean the days after my dream three days before my dreams where I was trapped in a mental asylum and there was no this was no ordinary mental asylum this was owned by the hell I mean it's hell it was hell because <clears throat> the devil owned it because everywhere I turn in the facility mental facility is where demons eat people chop them up like literally chop them up and eat them feed it to the people who are not aware that they're eating people <laughs> and I was like what is going on and I talked to other people again I don't know why I talk to other people in my dreams but I do which is strange because you conversate with your dreams and after that I lock myself in the closet to avoid the demons because there's certain times where they are gone in my dream I guess and then when I got out from the closet it was light now and when I I think it was a warehouse yeah when I went outside and it looks like a warehouse and then some lady was coming up to pick me up something like that and that's the only thing that I can remember <coughs> And I haven't been sleeping good because of, like I said, existential crisis. And it's affecting my dreams. And it's just making everything wacko. Like, I can't tell whether to believe it or not. You know, there's some things that I can't fathom. Fathom. Yeah, I can't understand. And there's... I don't know, maybe internally I'm more in a stress, stress and you know, trying to live a legacy, leave a legacy that, you know, I did something in my life and and nothing you know, something I can look back on, like, you no, know, but I still haven't done that. I haven't created invention yet. I haven't done anything in particular that I could use or, you know, have have something that I can leave back for the next generation, but it's taking me time and it's frustrating and now I haven't been like focusing with it now I'm questioning myself whether I should go to med school or not or I just because it's just like with all the chaos that's going on with life it's just like making me like I should have fun in life because you know things could happen you could die at, at, at a given moment and it's just very, I don't know, very unusual. So I don't want to go over my existential crisis and why it's important. So that's all I can say. And um, thank you guys for listening. And I'll be <coughs> updating videos if I, if you know if I can remember them. But right now I can't remember anything because I'm just in the, in the um, you know, just finding myself. Thank you guys. Bye.